All right, everyone, Mr. Swinger One here. Welcome to the channel. Um, we're looking at the crank here for a 340 build. Excuse my bench, it's a mess. We got our Thermactor smog tube for our 5.0 sitting in the background here. We're waiting on parts for that. Um, but we're gonna, I'm gonna go over quick mic in the crank, what they call mic in the crank. So you need a two to three inch micrometer. Um, Usually they come with a little calibration bar. That's two inches. You stick it in here. And you turn it down. And you make sure your micrometer reads two inches. If it doesn't, there's a little set screw right there. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little set screw. You calibrate your micrometer. Um, now, I know that this crank is turned uh, 20 under on the rods, 10 under on the mains. Um, and the 340 crank spec is 2.5 on the mains, basically two and a half inches, uh, 2.500. And uh, the rods are 2.125, which I believe 2.125 is two and an eighth if you want to convert it to fractions. So what I do, um, I will take this micrometer and adjust it where it says, we're gonna do we're gonna do some rods first. So it's gonna say 2.105. Because we're taking 20 thousandths off 2.125. So I don't know if you can see that. 2.1 in the five. I'm gonna turn the knob here. I'm gonna set this down. <clears throat> Two point one zero five, and I'm going to. I'll take this, and it should just slip right over a rod and just lightly go over. You can feel it catching. You can feel the friction. Um, it lightly goes over. I checked all these. Um, these turned out pretty good. It's a. It, this is a machine crank. Um, let's see if it moved. There's two things we're going to do to check this. We're going to mic this. Oh, it's, excuse the blur. Two things we're going to do to check this. Um, we're going to, we're micing it and this will tell us what size bearings to order. And again, we're going to go 20 under on the rods, 10 under on the mains. And that's just. The machine has decided that. Um, number three was scuffed up pretty bad. Or I think maybe it was this one. I should have filmed this before I had a machine. Somewhere there's a picture of it at the shop. Um, so yeah, you do that. You can come in on a 90 degree angle. See how it kind of just slips over. And I can feel the the friction. Um, and you just go around at 90 degree angles. You're checking for one side to the next. And, um, you know, at 90 degree angles, one side to the next. So you're checking for out around, taper, and wear. So the main thing with this is I know this crank's good because it's been sent out. This has been machined. But if you have a good crank out of an engine, it's all brown because it's covered with oil, you can clean and polish these journals um, and mic them and see if you need standard bearings or 10 under. Or you can, the home engine builder can actually polish them up, measure them, and then order bearings. Um, and you don't know if it's been ground 10 under before. This is the reason why you do this. You can't just assume your crank has standard bearings. But another thing I wanted to show you is the bearing shell will say that's a main date, November 19, upper 10 thousandths under on the mains. So when we get this together, You know, the main will sit like that, and the plastic gauge should squeeze to the oil clearance. 
like when you check with the plastic gauge, your oil clearance should be in spec because you mic the crank. You ordered the right size bearings. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, like I said, you can polish these. You can get a piece of emery paper, wrap it around here, take a piece of wash line, wrap it around, and do the old polish trick with WD-40 and emery paper. Just polish these up. Um, I paid to have this one done. Uh, I think it was... <laughs> It was like 125 down and 250 at pickup. So 375, I think I paid somewhere in that ballpark between three and 400 bucks. I have a crank machine. So yeah, shop around. Sometimes you can get a reman crank for that, but this, this one's forged. Um, you can see the thick forge marks. That's a that's that's forged cast. It would be real thin. Forged. Um, there's another one. Indicates it's forged. There it is here. Forged. Uh, where's the marks on there? They'll be up in here. So big wide marks indicate your fort you got it forged <clears throat> another thing with this is um if you take a forged crank out 340 crank make sure you get the numbers off it sometimes they'll try and give you a cast 318 piece back you don't want that <clears throat> um that bolts in there i had to chase those threads with a a tap I do happen to have that size tap. I have pretty much all the tools you need to do this stuff, except for the machines. Um, but yeah, pretty much it. I wanted to post a quick video on that. And yeah, that's Mike and the Crank. You can use veneer caliper, but like I said in the old days, Mike and the Crank meant use one of these, a micrometer. Um, let me... Uh, let me do a main quick for you. The mains will be 2.490, 10 thousandths under. So, just back this out. So, we're, we're going to four. We're going to go to four. Then, three notches. Each notch is meet 25, so it's going to be four. And then one, two, three. That's 75 plus 15. There's your 2.490. So let's see how this slides over a main. Yeah, you can feel it getting a little bit of friction, but it goes over. And you can use two hands and just run this the barrel of the micrometer up against the crank, but I'm holding the phone the other hand, so I can't use two hands. But yeah, I mean, that's all I did to check these. Make sure the machinist didn't screw up. And like I said, if you have a, <clears throat> if you have, if you're just doing an overhaul, no machine work, you uh, take your 318, 340 crank, 360 crank, whatever, look up the spec, mic it, polish it up, mic it, and then order your bearings. And then, uh, you know, plastic gauge them when you install it. Check your oil clearance. You should be good to go. <clears throat> and that's it. This is almost 9 or 10 minutes. Thanks for watching. More to come on this 340 build. Thanks.